I'm here today with top Las Vegas criminal defense lawyer Michael Becker. And Mike, today I want to ask you about the Nevada crime of resisting arrest. And I mean, you know, the, the term resisting arrest is kind of a buzzword in our culture. And I think most people think of it in the context of, you know, the cops are, are trying to arrest you and you struggle and you try to keep, you know, from being handcuffed or fight with the police. But, but actually the law here in Nevada is, is even broader than that. Is that right? That's correct. It's willfully resisting or obstructing law enforcement. So we've seen people that were charged under this provision of the NRS statutes for, uh, for example, pulling their hand away when the officer went to put handcuffs on them, or the officer asked them their name and they gave a false name. That could be the basis for a charge of willfully obstructing or resisting law enforcement. And certainly, um, if you if you struggle with the officer, uh, or if you're going to fight with the police officer, um, then I mean that could be resisting arrest or something even more serious. That's correct. I mean, if you run away from the police or resist them in in, in manners that we've spoken of previously, that would likely lead to a misdemeanor charge for willfully resisting or obstructing. But if you threaten a police officer or if you strike a police officer, there are more serious charges, including battery on a police officer, which could be a felony if injury occurs. And that potentially could send someone to prison for you know, a number of years. That's correct. Have you had success in defending clients uh, over the years who are charged with resisting arrest? Yes, it, it, it often depends on the circumstances that led to the contact with law enforcement. But more often than not, if you can show that the defendant is not guilty of the underlying conduct that gave rise to the charge, a prosecutor and or a court will be a lot more likely to consider uh, dismissing the charge of resisting or, or uh, obstructing arrest. And what if it's a cop that, I mean, let's say you have a client who, who contacts you and the officer is just exaggerating or the officer was, you know, was, 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 brutal with, with, with the client. And, and we see that a lot in, here, in, here in Nevada. Um, are there things that you can do to sort of investigate the police officer's background and, and kind of help bolster our client's uh, uh, story as opposed to the police officers? There are. You know, we can, if we have a situation where the client says that the officer was being overly aggressive or inappropriate or using unnecessary force, uh, placing the handcuffs on too tightly or pulling the arm back too abruptly. We Which can, is very common, right? It is common. And we can look into, we can do a motion to look into the personnel records of a police officer uh, and determine whether ac similar types of accusations have been made against the officer in the past. And if we can show a prosecutor and or a judge that we're dealing with a situation where the officer may have a history of being very aggressive, then they're going to be a lot more receptive to our argument that our client wasn't resisting, but was merely rightfully protecting their personal sanctity. So the take home message to our audience would be if you're uh, charged with resisting arrest or battery on a police officer, you know, something similar. Um, it, it's often in your interest to, to get a good lawyer and to fight back because it may be possible to get the charges reduced or ultimately dismissed. That's correct. I don't believe that a normally law-abiding person is going to be uh, predisposed to resisting law enforcement. For the most part, we respect law enforcement and we do what they tell us to do. Often, there's a story behind the story, so we like to sit down with our clients and hear their side of the event so that we can go into court and fight for an acquittal or a dismissal of those types of charges. I'm attorney Michael Becker with the Las Vegas Defense Group. If you've been charged here in Nevada with resisting arrest, call me at 702-DEFENSE and we'll talk about what we can do to get your charges reduced or dismissed.